part nine. We are going to continue with interest. You will find this on page 61 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. We are going to focus on compound interest. The interest is added to or subtracted from the principal at the end of each year. The interest is calculated on the new principal and changed each year. Two methods. You work out like simple interest and just add the interest to the amount every year. Okay, so a new calculation is needed for each year. Or you can use the formula. So to find the amount, you take the principal bracket 1 plus the rate, the percentage, divide by 100, and that N stands for the amount of years. So this will give you the total amount. Note, this formula can only be used if N is a whole number and interest is per year. Okay, let's start. Mr. Kapitangu borrowed 45000 from his bank to buy a car. He must pay 18.5% per annum compound interest on his loan. He repays his loan after a two-year period. What is the amount he pays back to the bank? Okay, now let's first do, do it on the long way. So the first year you take, you just work it out like simple interest. You take the principal, you multiply it the rate, but you only multiply it by one. Divide the 100 and that is the interest after one year. Then you take that interest and you add it with the principal to get a new principal. And then you do it exactly the same. You take that new principal, you multiply it by the rate, you multiply one and you divide the 100. And then you will get this. And then you take that principal, that new principal, and you add that interest. And that will give you the total amount. And then to see only the interest, you just subtract the beginning principal and then you will find it. So this is the long method. The short method is I'm using this formula. So I substitute the 45,000, there's the one, there's the right, and that N must be a whole number. So that is two years, and then if I work it out, I'm getting the amount. And then to find the interest, I just take the amount and I subtract that um, the original principal, and that will give me the interest. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do, try now 12, I want you to do number 2. Okay, let's start. Let's try now 12 and we are going to focus on number 2. A man invests 80,000 at 10% compounded annually. Calculate the amount of money he receives if he invests it for three years. Okay, so let's start. It's always good to just uh, order your things. So say first year. So I'm taking that, that formula. Remember, the interest, the simple interest formula is P times R times T over 100. And that, okay, so the interest uh, will be Okay, let's just, we're going to write it like this. So it's that 80,000 multiply 10, multiply 1, divide 100, and that is going to give me an amount of 8,000. Okay, so now for the second year, remember, okay, let's just put it in here. Um, we are going to take the 80,000 and we're going to add that 8,000. And that's going to give me a new principle of 8,800. Okay, let's just see. It's the 80,000 plus, yes, it's 88,000. Okay, so basically, if I do this one now, Again, I'm going to say I'm taking that 88000, I multiply it again with 10, multiply just one year, and I divide it 100. And now I will get an amount of 8000, and now it's the 800. And again, get your new principle. Remember, take this, this one, so it's the 88000 
plus the 8,800 and that is going to give me an amount of 96800. Okay, so when I come to the third, third year, then I'm going to take this 96800, I multiply it by the 10, multiply 1, divide 100, and that is going to give me an amount of 9680. Zero. And now to get that final, I'm just taking this, this principle, what was it, 96800 zero zero plus that interest, 9680, and that's going to give me 106480. Okay? So, um, let's just see if, if I'm just now taking this. So, we will receive, what is the question? Calculate the amount of money you will receive at the end. So, this is the amount. But if I just want to see the interest, it's not the question. I will just subtract that original 80,000 from that. But that's not the question. So, if I want to do it on the short method, um, then I can just do it like this. Let's just show you. So, um, let's call it. Yes, this was method one. Mm. <laughs> it's been, okay. Let's go to method two. Ah, let's just correct that. Okay, so basically it's just substitution into that formula. So let's just get the formula. So it's A. Let's just move up. So to get that, so it's A equals P and it's 1 plus um, R over 100 and it's N. Okay, so what is P? Let's just start. P is 80,000. And then it's 1 plus, and what is the percentage? Oh, let's just get that correct. Okay, and that is 10. And that's over 100. And then the years, what was the years? That was free. Okay, now let me show you how to press it on the calculator. I prefer to do first this and then to the power of three. So I, I even prefer to start there. So I will say 10 divide 100. Then I will add the one and then equals. And that gives me 1.1. Then I will go to the power, remember to the power, to the power three equals. And now I will multiply the 80,000. And then if I do that, I'm getting on my calculator and that is 106480. And if you look, this pin is not just looking nice, but if you look, it's exactly the same as you got with the long method.